When we list down some of the most admirable former Disney stars, Zendaya will definitely make the top five. Her transition may have been smooth, but it also had some pretty dark moments. While making millions of dollars, Disney may sometimes ignore the well-being of their child stars, and many either end up as drug addicts or worse. Zendaya, who transitioned from Disney unscathed, recently exposed the Disney machine, and we'll be breaking down all the details. Before we look at the dark side, let's recap her glorious Disney days. When Zendaya was just starting out in Hollywood, her career actually tore her family apart. The actress was lucky enough to have ultra-supportive parents who fought for their daughter's dreams, even though it meant splitting up their family. Her father, who was a teacher, quit his job to help her pursue her acting career. When she was in middle school, the pair would drive back and forth from Oakland to Los Angeles for auditions. Her mother took on two jobs to pick up the slack and pay for all of the trips. She began a professional career working as a fashion model for Macy's, Mervyn's, and Old Navy. She also appeared as a backup dancer in a Sears commercial featuring Disney actress Selena Gomez. In 2009, she was a featured performer in the Kids Bop music video for its cover of the song Hot and Cold, which was released on Kids Bop 15. From a young age, Zen dreamt of working for Disney, and it didn't take long before she got a role in The House of Mouse. She auditioned in November of 2009 for the role of Cece Jones to join the cast of Dance Dance Chicago, later changed to Shake It Up. It was selected as Rocky Blue instead. For her audition, she performed Michael Jackson's Leave Me Alone. Shake It Up premiered on November 7, 2010, and was watched by 6.2 million viewers, becoming Disney Channel's second-highest-rated premiere in Disney Channel's 27-year history. Target stores even began selling Designed, a line of clothing inspired by the clothes worn by Zendaya and other cast members on the TV series Shake It Up. Her first movie role was in the 2012 film Frenemies, a Disney Channel original movie. In 2013, she was cast as 16-year-old Zoe Stevens, the lead character in the Disney Channel original movie Zapped, whose smartphone began to somehow control all the boys around her. The same year, she was cast as the lead in a Disney Channel pilot called Super Awesome Katie. It was ordered to series by Disney Channel in May of 2014. With the series now under the title KC Undercover, and Zendaya mostly experienced her dark Disney days in KC Undercover. One of the things Zendaya exposed about the Disney machine is that it can be scathing, and it pits actors against one another whether they want to compete or not. In an interview with J14, Bella Thorne blamed Disney for their rocky friendship, claiming the network pitted them against each other. Zendaya and Bella were put in a very unfortunate position where they were kind of forced to compete against each other, which made the whole first season of the show just very awkward for them. The pair eventually realized what was happening and hashed it out during the second season, which ultimately proved that neither actress was the type to let the Disney Channel get the best of them. According to Thorne, that moment was when Zendaya became her best friend. The two remained very good friends even after wrapping the show on Disney. When Bella had the leaked nude situation, Zendaya openly spoke in her defense. Bella Thorne was heartbroken when her nude pics were leaked, but for the most part, people were understanding. Whoopi Goldberg wasn't, though. She spoke up about it in a way that sounded a lot like victim shaming. Zendaya defended Bella Thorne against Whoopi Goldberg's comments. When publications tried to pit the two against each other again, Bella also spoke up and told them off. Working for Disney also meant maintaining a particular image at all times. In the past, Thorne owned up to going as far as heightening the pitch of her voice during interviews in order to fit within Disney's image. Zendaya's experience wasn't far off, but her willingness to change was short-lived. Zendaya realized that she could still be cool without being a total Disney girl, and she made sure Disney knew that fact. Another thing that the Disney machine does is that it silences their young stars, and most of the time their opinion doesn't count. Fortunately, Zendaya knew exactly how to voice her needs, and she made certain demands for Disney. When the Disney Channel came to Zendaya with the idea for KC Undercover, she was already exploring other options in the entertainment industry. Zendaya was just 16 when she met with execs and made her demands. In an interview with Cosmopolitan, the actress revealed, The only way I was going to come back to the Disney Channel was if I was in a position of more power. Disney met her demands, and Zendaya became one of the youngest producers in Disney Channel history. She was a co-producer on a whopping 43 episodes and a producer on nine. The series also helped her step into the big leagues when it came to working behind the scenes. There was also surface-level stuff like the show's name. It was originally Super Awesome Katie, which Zendaya thought was whack. She didn't like her character's name either. She also wanted to use her platform for representation, including expanding on Disney's very narrow view of teenage girlhood. She didn't want KC to sing and dance like most Disney characters. She also insisted that the show center on a family of color. By the time KC Undercover rolled into its second year on air, Zendaya had transformed from a Disney Channel starlet to a cover girl in her own right. But even that didn't happen without controversy. When the actress graced the cover of W Magazine's April 2016 issue alongside Willow Smith and Kieran and Shipka, fans slammed the publication for supposedly whitewashing her complexion. The other thing that the Disney machine does is deny kids access to quality education. Zendaya revealed that some of her peers would cheat their way through online classes. As the daughter of two teachers, Zendaya cared about her education, but signing onto a Disney series meant she'd have to pull double duty to get the same schooling as her non-famous peers. Her mother became her educational advocate, writing letters to Disney's lawyers, justifying her 
her need for a particular teacher. This was a person who was willing to work with Zendaya everywhere, press tours, her hotel rooms while traveling via car, plane, or train, etc. Zendaya also revealed that at Disney, people can be very race insensitive. She said that in the past, she's had some incidents on set with people being racially insensitive, including an exchange with her own publicist. She also admitted that her lighter skin gave her more privilege compared to her darker sisters and brothers, and Zendaya felt a responsibility to be a voice for the beautiful shades her people come in. Even after everything she went through, Zendaya still came out on top. She was announced as one of the celebrities who would compete on season 16 of Dancing with the Stars. At age 16, she was the youngest contestant ever to participate on the show, before Willow Shield succeeded her at age 14 on season 20. Zendaya also released her debut book, Between You and Me, How to Rock Your Tween Years with Style and Confidence. In 2016, Zendaya made her feature film debut as Michelle in Spider-Man Homecoming, which was released in July 2017. The film grossed $117 million in its first weekend, ranking number one at the box office. In December 2017, Zendaya co-starred in the musical film The Greatest Showman, alongside Hugh Jackman, Zac Efron, Michelle Williams, and Rebecca Ferguson. She portrayed a trapeze artist named Ann Wheeler, who falls in love with Efron's character, Philip Carlyle, during a time when interracial romance was taboo. In 2018, Zendaya officially closed the book on her Disney chapter and moved on to more adult projects. In June 2019, she began starring in the HBO drama series Euphoria, an adaptation of the Israeli series of the same name. She also reprised her role of MJ in Spider-Man Far From Home, released on July 2, 2019. At the time when they were cast for Spider-Man Homecoming, Zendaya was already an established singer and Disney star with a huge fan following. When news of her involvement in the MCU broke, everyone naturally assumed she would be playing the lead female role of Peter Parker's eternal crush and eventual wife, Mary Jane Watson. In Euphoria, she plays Rue, a lying, drug-addicted 17-year-old girl and the narrator of the series. As soon as she learned about the concept behind HBO's Euphoria, a high school drama tackling serious topics like sex, drugs, and addiction, Zendaya said she knew she was prepared to fully step into the edgy, grown-up role. Although her intuition served her well, the actress admitted that she was petrified to take on the new role. Jumping from a Disney show to a serious drama was a scary jump, but Zendaya believed it was time for her to do this. She also revealed that she was keenly aware of what the public may think about seeing a recent Disney Disney star on screen popping pills and struggling with depression. During her interview for Vogue, Australia's March 2020 cover story, Zendaya was asked how she managed to ascend into adult stardom so gracefully in comparison to her Disney Channel peers that would go off the rails. Zendaya said, The first thing I will say is it's important not to judge any other person's career or trajectory because when you're a young actor, you're growing up in front of the world. Sometimes that's not easy. Everybody has their own path. She didn't mention the names of the people who went off the rails, but we all know the people who barely made it out of Disney in one piece. Miley Cyrus, who starred on Disney Channel's Hannah Montana, broke away from her Disney image by openly singing and joking about drugs and sex, which led her to be kicked off of several projects. Demi Lovato, who starred in Disney Channel's Camp Rock, has been to rehab for drug abuse and accidentally overdosed in 2018. Shia LaBeouf, Lindsay Lohan, Britney Spears, Orlando Brown, Zac Efron, all these people had very rocky transitions. Even Zendaya's Shake It Off co-star Bella Thorne has garnered a reputation for being a wild child since leaving the series. Zendaya said that she's done her best to maintain a low-key life and not be too full of herself. Despite her popularity, she also noted that she hasn't felt the need to broadcast her entire life on social media. Zendaya then went on to admit that what helped her was a very strong sense of self and purpose, which helped her to stay grounded and more interested in the work she was doing. Zendaya continues to make very big wins in fashion statements in the entertainment industry. For instance, the Met Gala of 2019 was a big deal for everyone in attendance. The theme was camp, notes on fashion, and Zendaya dressed up as Cinderella and even had a fairy godmother use a wand filled with fairy dust to change the color of her dress. She has also taken home the People's Choice Award for the Drama TV Star of the Year for Euphoria. She also took home the People's Choice Award for Favorite Movie Actress for Spider-Man Far From Home. Oh, we can't wait to see Zendaya in the upcoming film Dune, which is based on Frank Herbert's sci-fi novel of the same name, originally published in 1965. Even though the premiere is months away, the new Dune film is already making waves online thanks mostly to its star-studded cast. Well, Zendaya may not be a Disney kid anymore, but that doesn't mean that she can't star in Disney projects. A live-action Hercules movie from Disney was just announced. Fans have been revealing their dream casting for the role of Megara, aka Meg. Some of the top choices being named on social media by fans are Ariana Grande, Zendaya, Haley Steinfeld, Sophia Carson, Dove Cameron, and Elizabeth Gillies. At the moment, Ariana Grande and Zendaya are the most preferred stars for the role of Meg. Do you agree with the polls? Let us know in the comments section below. In other news, Zendaya could be dating her Euphoria co-star Jacob Elordi. Zendaya and Jacob started going out after their show Euphoria, and rumors of their dating started then. They have appeared on so many events and outings together, but they haven't spoken about their dating life. The rumored couple was spotted having an outing together in Los Angeles a few days before in matching sweats, and created the buzz that they allegedly spent their quarantine together. And now their fans are waiting for any official confirmation. 
And that brings us to the end of yet another amazing video. There's more where that came from, so make sure you subscribe to Riveted. Turn on the notification to stay up to date.